Today I'll be assembling the 15.25 by 25 rigid molly panel with the top and bottom mounting strap and the rifle mount clamp uh, for the vehicle rifle rack kit. <clears throat> Start off with the straps. Comes with a middle male buckle assembly <clears throat> and two receiving and female buckles on short straps. These tri-glides allow you to loop the webbing around and tie it off. So what we're going to do is typical set up on the back of a passenger or driver's vehicle seat. We're gonna have this loop around the headrest, so we'll set them up right here. Pass it through. Come up right there. Pass it back down through to tie it off. Now you get there's enough webbing here to where you can loop it through any any uh, molly hole punch out there. These slots just help you keep it a little cleaner. Okay. So now. clip on and once you've installed it in your vehicle and get this tucked up under the headrest etc if you just want to unclip it to carry inside for safe storage etc you can leave that in place on the headrest if your vehicle works that way so we'll move on to the bottom strap Exact same buckle setup, just longer. So for a typical vehicle, this will go around the base of the seat and can actually tuck into the crevice where your seat back meets the base of the seat. Those are installed. Next we'll move on to the rifle rack. Of course, check that it's empty and safe. We'll go ahead and insert a magazine because we need to get the spacing down right. Okay. About how we want it laid out. Here's the rifle mount clamp kit. There are instructions on here whether you want to orient it vertically, like we're about to do, or if you have a horizontal panel and you need it to run your rifle to rack in this direction on the panel, you just turn the uh, aluminum spacers and there's a different hole pattern to accommodate that. That's detailed on the instruction sheet you get. <clears throat> now for this uh, typical application here, we have this clamp will fit around the buffer tube or around this Magpul stock. This will fit around your forearm. So this is about how we're going to space it out right here. Okay. 
plus requires a Phillips head. Let's go ahead and back that out. Now there's different hole placement on here. As you'll see, it helps you line up the rifle a little more centered. So these two line up with your bolts. Now, as you can see, the center line of this clamp runs right up this ridge. So instead of placing that in the center of the hole, we'll offset it to be more in line with the center line of this clamp. You just want to tighten it up till it's nice and snug. You don't want to over tighten as it'll just unnecessarily compress the rubber clamp. Okay. Now that we've got that installed. We have a 15.25 by 25 rigid molly panel with the buckle set up to strap it to a vehicle seat and the rifle mount clamps installed. <clears throat> We're gonna install a couple of accessory pouches here. This is a Blackhawk Tearaway medical kit. This is a S-Tac triple Kiwi mag holder. And this is an ST-Wrap shot cord tourniquet retention apparatus with a uh, North American Rescue cat tourniquet. So now that we see our spacing here, where everything's going to go, I'm going to remove the rifle. get started with the tearaway pouch. This is the traditional Molly Pals lacing style. And we're gonna start on this top row here.
because this rigid molly panel is thicker than traditional molly webbing loops, typically may have to modify the weave. So we've got a traditional weave right here. And now we're gonna go ahead and try to tighten it up as best we can. Looks like we're gonna have to go ahead and buckle down right here. black power tearaway medical pouches you have a securing clip there and you just rip it away from the hook and loop backing you have a nice elastic loop in there to go ahead and secure all your medical supplies Next, we'll show the ST wrap. Go ahead and remove this tourniquet from its packaging. We're actually going to install this one. Side down so to speak allowing it to be pulled out the bottom here let's get that rubber boot on there and this tab makes it easy to pull the rest of the shock cord around you want it just like that so you can grab it and rip it away one is the S-Tac mag pouch. These have a Kydex insert that really firmly retains the magazine. We're going to install this as far down as we can here. We're going to go ahead and install with two straps. There's four included, so you can cinch it up as tight as you want. So we're going to do this row and this row right here. these straps through and get it to the point where that little hole is showing right at the top edge.
this will be similar to the traditional molly weave now that we've got these straps installed Just like with the traditional one, we're going to skip a lace due to the thickness of the panel. And these lock down by passing that tab into there and pulling it. Pass one or more of these notches. quite secure just like that. Last accessory we're going to show you how to install today it's going to be the steel stiffener bars when you do load down these panels with a good bit of gear you can get a little bit of a, a bow in it a little bit of flex when you have it installed on a vehicle seat if you want to stiffen that up by no means is it going to break, it's just going to flex. <clears throat> but if you want to stiffen it up, we have steel bars punched with the hole pattern on the outside edge. And we can secure those with the five Chicago bolts that are included. do first let's tack down the two ends we're gonna need a flat head for this one gonna get it in there enough to hold it
So that goes in there. Now we're ready to install in the vehicle. Okay, for the seat install, Simply loop the top buckle around the headrest. And we're going to come around and loop the bottom buckle. After this, it's going to be some fitment. Fitting it up.
All right, so it's fit up at that point. Uninstall is 